Hey everyone, Miyasity here, welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. So today the plan is to go into the farmstead to get the Time Rye Miller down. I believe this is the version of him that is the uh, just wave after wave from the COM, not the Farmstead Plus. So we're going to be going in with a bleeding slash bleeding versus marked group I believe. Uh, mainly because of the Dreamer having plus bleed amount versus marked. So to facilitate that, I have Sud, who is going to be doing mainly healing, but also some buffing, marking, bypassing guard, removing guard, and debuffing the enemy. Reminder to those who haven't used him, his healing is kind of wonky. It's minus 50% healing done. However, if you are lower on health, have blighted or bleeding, it ramps up very quickly. Uh, then I have Scout Cypher, basically doubling the damage and ignoring stealth. Grave Call for bypassing guard, breaking guard, and marking a target. And Feast of the Tail for hitting everyone on the enemy team, shuffling the group, minusing their speed, and minusing their protection. I then have our new Dreamer that I wanted to test out, so I'm mainly going to be using her in transformation form, which should help because I have Sed here, who's, like I said, healing on his bonus healing helps versus a lower health people and mainly going to be using cremation to get rid of the bodies sleep paralysis to mark pull stun and the finger to deal massive bleed versus anything that is marked we're bringing in rex who is going to be doing massive damage versus anyone that is bleeding biting blade doing extra crit versus bleeding fifericate which is damage versus bleeding i do have bloody ambition which is his mark repost or his block repost. And I'm going to throw Apex Predator just in case he gets shuffled into front. Which is stun, shuffle, bleed. And also puts him in the back one. And then I'm changing up Maverick or Bowman a little bit. So, I mean, he's going to be starting on bleeding arrows for everything up until the Miller. Mainly using piercing arrows to put bleeding on and the kill to finish things off. And then I have Wilbur's bandana just so that anything he marks it, or anything he hits gets marked. Also with the splinter wood shaft for upping bleed amount. But then on the miller I have bypass stealth, bypass guard, and we can shift to whatever arrow I need. So we'll see how all this works. So that's kind of the plan for the miller. Now really quick note, uh, you might have noticed it already, but I kind of feel like junk today. But I am one of those people where I need to be doing something when I feel like junk. So this is what I'm doing to take my mind off of it. So I might be taking taking a second or two uh, during the video just like catch my breath or something like that. I'm not sick per se, but uh, some health issues are popping up that I have. And uh, so you are aware, I just may be taking a bit longer just to catch my breath just because I feel like junk. Now, food in here isn't really necessary except for to heal in between waves. But the rest of this is kind of handy just to clear like debuffs, bleed, all that jazz. We'll take the holy water take Ladonum. Beyond that, I think we're good. Slabs etched with certain celestial designs were erected around the perimeter of the farmstead. The miller, lamentably eager for some early sign of improvement, fixed his watery eyes intently upon the wilted fields and listless mill. My gaze, however, was cast skyward and I marveled at the limitless profanity of the stars, wondering what harvest might come. All right, let's get to the madness and see how this works. I did take the time to get everyone, like the skills I'm using, fully maxed out. So hopefully that works very well for me. I could get his, um, stealth off right now if I had wanted to. Let's take a look at their bleeds right now. So I think I'm gonna do... So who has the ignore stealth? Bypass stealth with sure shot so I can... Is that a rank one? It's not a rank one. Okay. So I'm gonna scout's eye. That way we can just get the Scarecrow out of stealth. And do some extra damage to him. Returns even the boldest gaze. And he's down. <laughs> Didn't even need to bleed him. Uh, let's do Shifting Slash to get her back in position. 
Or would it be better to use one of these? Let's actually do sleep paralysis and stun the Herald here. Because this is a 70% chance and it marks him for next turn. Although I was going to do... um. Oh, these are all out of order now for me. That bugs me. Uh, we're going to change to Bleeding Arrows. That way they're bleeding for Rex. Then we're going to do Piercing Arrows, and hopefully this works the way I want. Oh, he's not marked. Okay, so we're going to Grave Call the Mater. Then we're going to do the finger on the petrified one. That way we do 14 bleed to it on top of what it already has. And it should go this turn because of the bleed. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. If I do the kill, I can take out the aberration. Executed with That'll heal him up a bit. I can do Trifuricate. Oh no, I can't. Um, we'll do Biting Blade and take out the Herald. Another one falls. And then just this one left. So let's do Feast of the Tail. Piercing arrow, see what we can mark. I'm kind of surprised it doesn't mark all of them. Maybe it's just the one I click. I guess that would be a little too powerful. Which I'm fine with. Gnawing uncertainty. Then we're gonna do the finger. Actually, if I did cremation, would that just take him out? I would take him out, take the body out, and maybe do damage to some others. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. That way I don't have the uh shard things. There's a bit of a heal on him. That's fine. Then let's do Apex Predator. And he'll bleed out. A death by inches. Um, mark you for funsies. Good dodge, good dodge. I suppose I can do the kill, take him out. Change that off so we don't hurt you. Guard ally plus healing received. Bloody ambition, just to get that going. Although I think I'm gonna waste that, but that's fine. Beast of the tail, get their speed down, get any protection gone and all that jazz. Do Waking Nightmare again. And, I mean, we can bleed one for now. Oh, there we go. Destroyed. Alright, I kind of want to test this a bit more. This is one I'm going to want. Masterfully executed. Nope, it just hits the first one with the mark. Okay. Slowly, gently. This is. And now, we will do Trifuricate. I know I would have done more damage to this one, but I have plans. Um, 
mark you. The ground quakes. And these should be the last two, I think. So let's do the kill. That won't do what I want. Sure shot. Does the same. Slightly less. Okay, so. He bleeds out. Um, if I just do Waking Nightmare, we'll go back into this mode. We'll do less damage to ourselves, And we can take out this one. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. And bleed out. And we're fine on stress, mostly fine on health, I'm assuming. Zed doesn't need to do too much here. The instruments pause. The I'm gonna keep the food in stock for now. I'm not gonna heal anyone. I'm gonna default party order and we're gonna move on. Oh, I don't like these color changes. They hurt my eyes. A lost echo. Trump okay. Forever in the sparkling void. The horror isn't too much distressed about here, although I might want to use something on Maverick. What I can do, though. Let's grave call, because if I mark him and then I hit him with the bleed, he's gone. Just a little more and I can heal her really, really well said. I do piercing arrow, I'm not gonna bleed any of them, but I could switch to blight. Now let's do sure shot and get the stealth off. Oh, it just bypasses, never mind. Um Waking Nightmare. I wanna get the madman down. So finger. That'll bleed him. 14, he's at 13 health. Bloody ambition. If they hit Rex, they're probably going down. Uh, let's heal her. The slow death. No corpse there. Unforgiving. He's definitely down. Easier to hit the noble now. Let's use one of these. And then do the kill. Aw. Oh. Now if I do cremation, it doesn't leave a corpse. Precision and power. Confusion, nerves, and panic. Okay. Let's just up damage against him. So doubling Rex. A brilliant confluence of skill and purpose. Change to dreaming. And just do shifting slash. Can heal her again. Formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Moving forward. All right. Um, how do we want to do this? Markings are not going to do too much good here, so let's do Feast of the Tail. Impressive. That screws the marksman for sure, and might screw the noble.
mortality clarifies. I mean, they could have done significantly more, so I'm happy with that. Oh, really quick. Yeah, let's do this. Let's not do that, because her health would suck. Um... All lucid skills plus damage received for 11 rounds. And that would turn her to lucid, not to dreaming. Okay, so we're going to keep her in this for now. i go at the Bone Noble. Annihilated. Do the kill, that's not enough. Let's change arrows. Really quick. Ah, oh, fire. Armor piercing. Bleeding. Oh, I wanted to be on blighting and I missed it. Never mind. Okay. Uh, so bypass that. chance to take out marksman. I mean, it was a chance. Okay, there's that. Although it should have given me a name there. And I sure shot him again. Take him out. Destroy them all. Heal up. I got a plan with the dreamer is not a great plan, but it's something. We're going to do cremation, because plus 100% damage per corpse cleared. So I'm assuming that's going to be 100% damage from this. I'm not sure the crystalline aberration counts. I'm not sure killing the bone marksman is going to count, but we'll see. Back to the pit. And destroying the aberration healed her, so Press that's bonus. Image. Give them no quarter. I'll get that going. Not sure that carries. It does not carry. It's a refuge. If only uh, we'll have you eat. Because now you're at full health. Everyone else can heal. I might do that in the next round or two. Will this help with the lucid stuff? It will not. Okay. Good to know. Continuing on. Anchored on solid ground once more. Alright, so Sed's gonna need to heal himself. Thankfully that didn't stun. See, it's a pretty big heal once he's lower on health, which is admittedly when he needs it. Uh, we're going to do Force of Will for the repost. Knock back you. Maybe that'll help the horse. The horror. I think Rex is still screwed on Bloody Ambition. No, nope, we're going to do it. How bad is this? Two for one, we're fine. Run bleeding arrows. Everything but the herald can bleed. Into piercing arrows. Funary writes again, healing Maverick. Too bad it didn't hit Rex. Fear consumes the mind. That only bypasses. Let's do the kill on the mater. This is probably a bad plan, but waking nightmare. Clear the corpse. Probably get the herald. Be gone, fiend. On the horse. 
Bradley takes out the horse. How do I have to pass with him? Alright, heal. Uh, you're below 25. So heal yourself. Monstrous size has no intrinsic merit, unless inordinate exsanguination be considered a virtue. And then cover Maverick. And unfortunately, you have to pass again, Rex. Can't even move back. Oh man, how I miss passing. Doesn't do stress. Um, okay. And now he doesn't have the repost either. That's where we're going to up your damage. Let's do Force of Will and hit the Herald. That way when I do a piercing shot, there's a better chance of taking it out. I don't think it's going to do it because I didn't hit a higher damage on it, but that's fine. Surprised I bleeded it. Bled it. <laughs> now she has that lovely repost. Made it. And they all drop like flies. And use these to heal up. So you'll get the kill on this one? Really? You can heal. And these two can finish these ones. Another abomination. That's a heal. From our lands. And bonk. Not in the worst position for the next fight. Yet. Alright. Piece of the tail. Not that it matters too much here, but... The minus speed for the next round might be nice. Piercing shot. One will bleed out at least. I'm gonna see if I can't ride out this um, damage received debuff so that she can uh, go all out on the Miller there. Both of them bleed out. Let's just get this up. Heal while you can. If both of them drop, I only need to worry about these two. They're easier to hit now. Let's do... You know what? You only need to worry about this one. And bada boom. Alright, we're where we need to be. Everyone's decent on health. Stress could be better, but that's the farmstead for you. Get one more chance to heal. Let's go on Rex. And whoever wants to pop it can. <laughs> Gonna make me do this. There we go. All right, Miller time. Battle behind. So stockpile will go on with Rex. Peace. Wait. 
I don't remember what's in here. Okay. So food and a few other useful things. We'll get rid of that. He can eat. Um, I'm going to pop the holy waters right from the get-go. And I have whatever I need to fight him with. Alright. And then I have a few buffs for three rounds. I have one round of plus lucid being damage received. So I'll do the repost and then go into it, I think. Do a setup round. Furrows of Earth. Filled with blood. As long as I can chew through that health, we should be good. I think he bleeds. No, he blights. Okay. The problem with this is... He's way in the back. So I can try Fury KM just because of where he's at. I think I can do that from... Oh, I have to be up closer. Gotcha. So what I'm going to try to do is this right off the bat to mark him. I want to set up the repost for now, but it might be better just go into the waking nightmare now that I think about it. Uh, I know I'm probably not going to... Actually, I might bleed him. Didn't... I thought he had a higher bleed resistance. So this will be 14 damage around. Um, that's only bypass, it doesn't break, but that's fine. Uh, let's do piercing arrow for now, just get the bleed on all of them. That way, I'm I don't think I'll take them all out, but there's a chance. I mark stuff for later. Put the bloody ambition on Rex. Next turn, I'll go into doing other stuff once he's hit and take something out. Um, don't need to do that yet. So, up his damage. Almost take on. Hit out with bleed. Raise that down. He should go forward. A lot easier to hit. Fix that. It's debuff. That's fine. Your pal. More bleed. 21 around. Oh, that's gonna heal him just when I almost had him. So, anti venom. Get rid of the stress. And we're gonna do the finger again because he's still marked. Oh, guarded. Shoot. Someone here has a break guard. Bypass break. Then we'll do this again. Twenty four round. That's going to hurt. It's down to three bleeding, but we're going to up that to. 17. That hurt a tad to do, but he's gonna go down like the next hit. Try fear, Kate. It Miller down. Fine rest upon the dirty Harold Dreamer actually did very well there. I was a little scared to use her. So, I mean, you don't get much treasure from doing that. The main thing is beating it, unlocking the mode that's after, and the comet shards. So, 6,000 plus the treasure I spent, 
So about 7,000 take back, 30 Comet Shards, 12 Crests, and the Waning Horn for the Warlord, which is plus 4 speed on the first round, and minus both party and monster surprise chance. 30 kills, for whatever that matters. 40 collected Comet Shards. No one leveled up. Claire did get a disease. Mania. That does not sound good. I don't know what Mania actually does. That sounds like a uh, modded one. Or it might be a Color of Madness. I'm actually not sure. Farmstead Phobe. Determined plus 10% death blow resist while marked and 10% protection while marked. Actually, not too bad for certain characters. Rex got Fear of Mankind and Runes Explorer. Maverick. Got runes explorer in time you will know the tragic extent of my failings and then the if you have this installed this is the other big part about doing the color of madness miller something emerges from the mill a crystal a crystalline alienage emerges from the farmstead that was created by the comet roams in the surrounding regions the crystalline harbinger now roams the estate i think that's its own standalone mod the crystalline harbinger but it's actually a kind of cool fight so that's going to be a roaming boss kind of like the dwimmer lake and the Re roaming raju minions and stuff like that that i can encounter now because i don't have enough of them let's see here oh i have a flagellant i'm pretty sure i have the mercenary so i did lose both my bombard and my old houndmaster so that's a nice little addition to have back and bloodshed endless harvest is there doubt i'll touch that until very much later on when i have a lot of trinkets that i would want to play with and stuff like that just as like a fun little excerpt but might do that might not do that that's a neat trinket so i'm really really tempted to go get this death dancer scroll just due to shenanigans type deals once again there's like three or four ways i actually see using this off the top of my head one is just weird like in warrior mode just adding blight to any of her hits just because like crimson dance would do that much more damage things like that the other is Plus blight amount versus blighted blight would or weed out move would instantly start doing like eight blight for four rounds. So it has multiple uses here. I think I really want this. <laughs> I'm not sure what group I'm gonna go in with though, so I do got to um take a minute. Like I said, I'm not feeling great today. Catch my breath. We'll go in, we'll do this, we'll have fun. All right, so I kind of came up with a team. Once again, one that I don't normally use, but it's going to kind of be a dance team. Um, No one really, for the most part, cares about their position. It's just kind of rare for me. We have Ludra the Warlord. For the most part, she is going to be using Horn Rush to deal damage to things in the back row moving forward as she's going to be using her movement to move to the back as a free action and then horn rush. Or if she's already in the front and has something she can just triumph on, she'll be doing that. I have Yugi the Oni basically doing the same thing with Buffonada on her, because when she marks herself, she'll just be doing extra damage, getting Kanpai for the repost, and while well, just obliterating and stunning things again. We have Spirit the Vessel, just being the vessel and being the little the little dance gremlin he is. And then we have Gorgon the Lamia, who, uh, yeah, she's supposed to be in the back row to heal. I have the quick draw charm on her so she can heal right in the beginning. And otherwise, if she needs to, I'll transform her to get back in the back row. That's the plan. I don't know if it's going to work. We'll see. Uh, and I actually do plan on keeping this kind of low light, but I will need torches just to get through a few things. So we'll we'll kind of see how this works. I think that's what I'll need for supplies. All right. Actually, I'll bring a few more torches. All right. Well, we're definitely going down first. They're so big. And then spirit is so small. I forgot to get rid of that again. Not that I really have money right now. And that's the coven right away. Alright, so... Right away, up crit versus one of them. Uh, we'll do on pie just so they go at her. The will to fight falters. Back... 
I do have the minus move resist on her too. Then forward. Then we'll do crippling lunge to take that one out. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Then slap. Slap. <laughs> I just love that. Backhand, backhand, backhand. And Mountain Breaker. Obliterated. Shoulder check that. Cyclone. Take them out. As the fiend falls. A and Horn Rush. Probably should have gotten back a bit, but. Press this advantage. And that's the fight. Give them no quarter. Okay. This is fun. I'll do this fight. Actually, no. What I'll do is go down here, get this Kyrio. At least she doesn't take it from me. That's all I got to say. I do need the deeds. When can I get rid of some of this stuff? Quest location's up there, so I might head there first. Alright, let's get rid of the bleed. Lace rating. Mountain breaker. Oh. Back. And forward. Now they're all still alive, but I didn't want them healing with the black hunger. And now I can finish them off this turn. Heal the bleed. Place rating. That'll give me gold stacks. Maintain the offensive. And shoulder check. Gone, fiend. Now both things I want there. Um, I do want to stock up on the uh, warp stone. There is a the big thing. Uh, can leave the money and such for now, I suppose. those, leave the money. Curio, curio. Yeah, we'll go up to here. And definitely just take this because if only Torch. treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. I don't plan on coming back to this spot right here, so I'm gonna pop my head out. Maybe I'll get deeds. Maybe I'll get nothing. Darkness and empty spot. Haunting the hearts of men. Love the warp stone. Uh, we will do this. They can eat. Now I can pop down for another quest location. We'll do this. I really want to get rid of those ASAP. Eh, we'll leave those. Cause secret room. Don't really care what it is. Sacret. Okay. Five rubies, a lot of gold. Fasting ring. 10% uh, damage minus food consumed, starvation damage less, stress from hunger, stress from camping meals. All right. I 
think for now, this is actually better than a few things I have on me. So let's do this. I don't really need the gold stacks. Skaven Tome is nice to have around. And I want the bloody herbs. So. Let's do that. Let's see uh, when a uh, pissed off that rat's going to be around. Finding the stuff is only of course. Now so, must be journal on. if you need it. And unfortunately, I'm just going to leave all that. I think. Now we'll trade out the money for the emerald. I got a lot to go yet. It's kind of silly because I brought the gathering swarm to get gold, and then I'm leaving a lot of it. I don't have holy water on me for this, darn. Um, okay, upgrade versus invigilator. Then lace reading. One down, one bleeding. I think I can triumph him. Not that it matters for stress too much, but... Destroy them all. And then we'll do con 5 for the repost. And mark. Poor guys are getting hit harder than they're hitting her. And for a bigger fraction of their health. That legitimately took, took out the rogue. A crippling lunge. These nightmarish creatures can gonna use the firewood, take that. Eat a bit. Um guess we're gonna get rid of this stuff. Let's see. Stun, debuff, death blow, crits receive. Thought I had something to heal. But guess not. Do stock prey. Bone blade. Warm up. And guess I don't really need anything for stress, so paw the earth. And indomitable? No. We'll do quick focus, just because the speed. A momentary abatement. Do I really need the scouting? It's two rooms. I'll go back to this. I might find a use for it. And of course, ambush like it. I knew this would be a thing. 100% ambush in here. The veil. Because she's in row one. Gnawing uncertainty. Let's petrifying gaze on them. Um. That minus is their speed and their dodge, huh? Final hiss. Impressive. Sends her back to where I want her. I do crippling lunge. Chance to take out rattling gunner. Destroyed. Move you back. Just for a little extra damage. I think it's a 10%. Oh, plus 50%. Twenty-five percent damage, and then it'll be ten percent extra damage to hit or fire thrower. Eradicated. And then I can mountain breaker you. Decimated. <laughs> I think uh, that rat was a little smaller than you, Yugi. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely a right. trick of the toss the money for now? Uh curio and a trap down there, so I'll just pop down to the curio. What the hell, why not? I'm having fun. This'll be the end of the run. Mark my words. Unclean hybrid. Again. <laughs> I don't think they're happy with me. I've last few times I've made a joke out of them. Okay. Uh, 
This does extra damage versus size 2. So I think, actually, it's better for me just to hit him like this. Then Lace Rating, just to try to bleed, also takes out a rat. Get Kanpai up for the mark. I repulse this extra, I just want the mark on her. Now he spends a turn calling a rat. Red almost taken out just by getting slapped. Can you imagine the backhand being so strong that you take out a dog sized rat? Damage plus 20%. Much for that one. Hope you didn't have hopes for that rat, buddy. Um, up oh, crit received. <laughs> uh, do I want to stun? It can't stun you. Mountain breaker. He's not having a good time, is he? Lost a few rats. He's at half health. Now I can't triumph. Or triumph or brutal below him, I suppose. I could take out the wolf rat. But, uh. I don't feel like that would do much. So, change formation. Horn Rush. I can't obliterate him. Post is up for two rounds. Mountain Breaker. Yes, yes, waste your turns, waste your turns. I mean, if it works, it works. I thought that was a back, not a forward. Regardless, I guess we can do this. Crippling lunge. Prodigious size alone does not I think that did more than cripple. Blade. Do I get his whip? Well, I got a vermintide trinket. This I didn't get his whip. At least Miniature doom wheel. Minus 20% crits received. 10% protection. On attack. Self. 3 damage. 13% chance. Rolling doom. So I do want that. Uh, it's just a matter of what do I get rid of. Yonix. I feel like that's a little premature to get rid of that, but oh well. Then we'll go down and get some of this jazz. Battle right there, so we'll see how that goes. Considering how well they did against the unclean hybrid, it's probably going to take another mini boss to do too much against them or some very very lucky crits up damage against warp or er, crit against warp fire thrower because screw him so two targets i really want to right here obliterate you we'll do lace writing to take out the glob of deer if i can do that Slow death. Now he's back in one. He'll probably blight these two. Unforgiving. See, that's a move I keep talking about that I never want him to do. He does blight his own people. But I've had very bad experiences with him doing that. A powerful blow. Meanwhile, Spirit and Yugi are just going to, like, destroy all rats. Foolish horrors. <sighs> I want to keep the key the just for this room right here. But then my gut's telling me it's not going to be the chest, actually. 
And the other thing I'm keeping the torches for are these right here. Nah, let's let's do this. Now I can take back a little bit more, cause I can just dig through that and then clear or er, er, heal stress with Ariada. I am gonna keep the shovel as a just in case, even though I know it's not gonna do me much good, but. And it was the thing I needed the key for. Ah, oh, well. I was thinking it was going to be one of the uh, stash piles or something like that. <laughs> Alright, let's get the uh, warp engineered. Let's try this again. I have no clue why it threw him into, or her, rather, into row one. It's a little weird. Another abomination. Maybe it's just something odd in the coding. So I think one. Oh no, he has too much health. I was hoping that the striker would bleed out, but it does look like the shield bearer will. Ah, uh, so I can go at the warp fire thrower. Should, might be the better plan, but then the striker heals and can stun me. Through that. And then he misses anyway. A death by inches. And now he's stunned. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. I think Spirit would be laughing too if he had the capabilities of it. Remind yourself. And then Ludra just goes back into front anyway. Insidious killer. I'm kind of curious as to what's happening there. This isn't a stumble, it's a free action back. She doesn't have anything that's a stumble on her. Like, I did not hit the default party order there to bring her back in front. Odd. Hacks laden with loot are often. Mm -hmm. I'll leave them. So I know what I want is down here. I'm gonna go get that first. Clear up the space, then come back for the rest. Obliterate. Death oh, that one actually hurt a bit. For the slightest lapse in concentration. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, we'll we'll move back. Try to get the striker here. Try being the keyword. Uh, now I do not want him healing. I mean, I don't have that much dodge. Kind of surprised at how much I am dodging. Now yeah, that time we didn't move back. Another one falls. All right, taking what we can. Wary. Triumphant pride precipitates. Let's take the gamble. Fall. I like stacks of money. It makes me feel good. Not as good as stacks of well, gems, however. Uh, awarded to take the brave it. and the foolhardy alike. Alright, what's in here? Come hither. Back we go. Forward you go. Executed with impunity. Ah, uh, desolate. A crippling lunge should take out the Globadier. Yep, okay. So just want to take the Warp Fire Thrower out. 
might not be a thing. Uh, let's go for this striker. Better chance. Blight. And away with you. Not taking all that. Trifling victory. But a victory Unfortunate. Nonetheless. Just need to get rid of this pickaxe and I could have taken the gold. But, um, hmm. What are the chances that I'm going to need the medicinal herbs there? I don't know. Uh, I keep thinking this is a different place, so probably gotten rid of the things I need to interact with already, if I'm being totally honest. Hey, it's the coven again. Up crit rate. And we'll go smash one with our horns. Um, I can hit two, or I can take one out potentially. I'll do that. A dizzying blow to body and brain. Alright, how's this gonna go? She's bleeding for a bit, so I might need to take that off, but we can do Mountain Breaker. Lace rating might get rid of the corpse. Precision and power. Horn rush to get rid of the one in the back. We'll just stun this one. And then heal Yugi off the bleed. And then pop he goes. Round quakes. Cool. I'm good with that. As victories mount. Now if I would have taken so some jades by now they'd be worth that, but, ah, uh, well, not too much more. Only by, like, a hundred, I think. Terrors may indeed stalk these shadows, but yonder... And that's what I'm looking for. So, let's pull one of these guys, just because I don't want them guarding the rats. Again. Very easy to take this one out, actually, so let's do that before it gets the action. Mountain Breaker, you. Place rating. Take one out. Guess it's bleeding and it's gonna heal off the other one, but that's fine. It's like one of the last combats, unless I get one going to there. Obliterate. And take you out. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. You know, I'm probably not going to find too much on those things back there. So let's just do this this. Take those. while wow, those stacked up to nine. And continue back. So we got the 4,500 gold. We got the Death Dancer's Scroll, which I'm kind of excited to use. So 20,000 gold total out of that. Some heirlooms. Spirit hit level three. I mean, he's been carrying me for a little while, so that's kind of cool. 
Ludra is actually really close. Yugi hit level 2, I think. Gorgon's almost level 3. Courtyard's Grounder on Spirit. Curious on Ludra, so let's fix that while I have some money. And uh, Gorgon while I can. All Before I forget, again. I have seen pale in comparison to that final oh, it's Pluto Mania. I could not Thankfully, it's not too expensive right now. Away. So those are getting treated in the sanitarium. I thankfully can get another air. I uh, I did lose another, my old one, in a video that got a little bit corrupted. So I did lose him and the sacrificial dagger, unfortunately, as you can kind of see there. So maybe it's at the Shrieker if the Shrieker pops up, but we'll see. Beyond that, that's where we're at. So kind of just looking around for fun trinkets, leveling people up, leveling areas up, stuff like that. Starting to dip my toes into veteran stuff, but I still have a lot of apprentice level people. So getting stuff like the shaman stone here and some other kind of decent trinkets is still a very high priority for me while I'm still building up the hamlet. Uh, so that's kind of the agenda and we'll stick to that is just finding trinkets I want to get, leveling up the areas to get the final apprentice bosses. I think I still have to deal with the hag, the cannon, and the farmstead bosses. I don't think I have any courtyard plus bosses left, but I might. And then, um, yeah, going from there. So a lot of apprentice people left, but maybe I can switch them out later for people in the stagecoach once I get this a little bit better, which actually it looks like I might be able to, but I don't remember if I was trying to save up for anything in here. I think I was. Need to get a little bit closer to this uh, warpstone refinery, I think, but so I'm getting kind of closer to getting a uh, blueprint. So that's kind of my plan. I'm going to stick to that and we'll go from there. It really helps out the channel if you like the video. If you liked it, just like it. If you just like it, comment, subscribe and all that YouTube jazz. And otherwise, as always, I wish you all well. I'll see you next time and please have a good one.